Not long ago, the mention of Fisk University was followed by words like financial woes and court battles. Yeah, and it's fair to say Nashville's oldest university was in trouble when Dr. James Williams became president. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas sits down with him as he approaches his two-year anniversary. Big changes on this, Andrea. Definitely, Rory. What a difference two years makes. Now Fisk can consistently has enough money to pay all of its bills and get this for the first time in about 40 years of preparing for a new construction project. Hope dies last. Thank goodness. When Dr. James Williams arrived at Fisk in February of 2013. There is hope. Hope was one of the few assets the troubled university could cash in on. Financial woes continued. The school's accreditation was on the line. Enrollment was declining. He's faced those facts and, and put it out there and said, hey, these are the brutal facts. This, this is what, um, what's uh, hanging over our heads. The academic programs, however, could not be compromised. Ski University, 150. Students, faculty, staff, and alumni all rallied in what's been an uphill battle. Some people were fired, while others... Implement a furlough system. We had to cut pay for a year, in fact, for a year and a half. By the end of 2013, Fisk's accreditation was restored. Enrollment increased from 613 students in the fall of 2012 to 733 students this fall, with expectations to top 1,000 students by 2016. Increase your chances of being successful in the workforce. To accommodate that growth in March, the university is preparing to break ground on a new residence hall. It's the first construction project of this magnitude on campus in 40 years. We've had up to 2,000 students in our, back in the hey, our heyday, so it's not that uh, this is something new for us. We're returning to what we should have been all along. It's what Fiskites call the renaissance. We can change and we can grow this into what we want it to be. A reflection of its history, an attempt to restore its influence. It, it never even crossed my mind that Fisk University would not be here. A possible rebirth of its future. Now, Dr. Williams says there is still plenty of work to do. Part of that includes restoring trust um, back in the Nashville community. Now, the fundraising and recruitment efforts continue to provide even, um, even more solid financial footing. And there are also plans to construct a new student center. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD.